Brooks from Source for Style, and you're watching The Cutting Edge, sustainable design news in 60 seconds. Yes, it's true that there are no wild mulberry silk caterpillars left in this world. They are all fat, happy, and domesticated. Well, maybe fat and domesticated, but not happy. Most often after the Bombix Mori caterpillars have spun their cocoons, they are placed in large vats of boiling water. Al dente. Why do those evil, cruel meanies do that? Well, it turns out that as a caterpillar merges to fulfill its life stage as a moth, it secretes an alkali fluid that dissolves the silk, which not only leaves a slight stain, but also breaks the silk filament. Surprisingly, the silkworm spins up to one mile or 1.6 kilometers of filament in one cocoon. If the filament isn't broken, it can yield 1,000 yards or 914 meters of usable silk. Ooh. There are wild or peace silk varieties, which means the silk moth is allowed to emerge, but the quality of the material is completely different. Because the silk filaments are broken into smaller components, the silk is not wound onto spools, but woven more like cotton. So how much silk does a silkworm silk if a silkworm could silk silk? Well, that's the crazy part, because these mulberry munching critters are ravenous. One acre of mulberry trees produce enough foliage to feed silkworms to create 178 pounds or 81 kilograms of cocoons. That unravels into 35 pounds or 16 kilograms of raw silk. Ooh. And since you need about 5,500 silkworms to produce 2.2 pounds or one kilogram of silk, that means you have 88,000 caterpillars munching away to make those 35 pounds. Now talk about a big appetite for some pretty precious fiber. <laughs>